Do you want to build a business beyond you? Or do you want to be the business? Does that make you happy? Because if it does, that's fine. Don't let anybody tell you, certainly not me, I'm not going to tell you that you have to build this scalable enterprise based on your IP that can one day be sold. You don't have to. What I want you to hear, though, is you can. And the process, if you decide that, no, I do want this to get to be bigger than me. And so, Josh, let's use you as an example, is to get really clear on what is the end result that I produce for the people that I serve? What is the specific end result that they want? Because in general, if somebody's consuming your content, doing everything, it's because they want something specific at the end of the rainbow. And maybe it's multiple things, but for most people, it's one or two. For me at Digital Marketer, what they all wanted was a funnel, a growth engine that got them customers, clients from scratch. I just want this marketing machine that I can put out there, that I can put money or effort into the front and profitable customers will plop out the end. That's what they all wanted. So I think it's first doing business with the reality that they're not here for me. I'm actually not that entertaining. And so a lot of people who think that, oh, they really want me. Ah, they don't. They want what they want. They're here for themselves. Yeah, that's they want the, the result. First, yeah, that's the first critical kind of mindset shift. So getting clear on the results and then saying, okay, I'm now going to pivot from being the most valuable player to being the owner. And that mindset shift is important. You've got to shift from having an author mindset to a publisher mindset, which means you have to step out of yourself a little bit and say, okay, how would I show somebody else how to do this? If somebody else had to do what I do, how would I show them how to get this result that they want? And usually what that means is funny enough, going through the process I just explained. You get out your sticky notes and you document your fulfillment engine. So if I do get a client, how specifically, what do I do? So I get a client, that's step one, client is sold. Now at the end of this, I want them to be so happy that they give me a raving testimonial and start referring people. So I got the beginning, I got the end. What's the process that I'm going to walk them through to get that result where they're successful and satisfied? You map this out and you have to build a mechanism around your process. And so for us at Digital Marketer, it was uh, customer value optimization. It was no longer learn from Ryan on how to get more leads and sales. It was the customer value optimization methodology. And it was the customer value journey tool. It has to not be about you and your general awesomeness. It has to now become about ideas. It has to separate from the person. You have Moses who had the 10 commandments, right? What is your 10 commandments? 